Hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. For this video, I've come out offshore on Jersey's north coast. I'm doing a little bit of uh, feathering for some uh, for some bait at the moment, and uh, it'd be rude to come out here and not drop a big bait down. So I'm going to be doing that later on. Um, firstly, I just want to uh, just try out this uh, torpedo live bait um, box thing that I've got on the side of the kayak that I've been sent by uh, by Nathan at uh, On Top Angling Supplies. So. Uh, Thanks to Nathan, and uh, hopefully this goes well. I've got a mackerel in there already, a nice little joey. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed can get a few more and then uh, test it out and put some live baits down uh, a little bit further offshore when we're anchored up and uh, see if I can get some footage of a taupe taking a bait. Uh, that's the intention for today anyway. Um, do a little bit of uh, bait fishing on the way out and then a little bit of bait fishing on the way back in as well when the, uh, when the tide's flooding. Small tides today, really hot day. Um, it feels like I'm sat in a greenhouse today. You can probably tell I'm sweating from the, look at the cap. <laughs> it's absolutely soaked already. Uh, and we've only paddled out a little bit, but yeah, just gonna uh, give it a quick go for some uh, bait and then uh, make my way offshore. Try for some bream, taupe, conger and huss. And uh, yeah, just make the most of this uh, good weather while it lasts, because I think the uh, wind's gonna pick up next week. So fingers crossed we can get some uh, good footage for you in this video and uh, hopefully some uh, big fish. <laughs> so here it is guys, here's the uh, little torpedo pod thing. It's got two holes at the front there and uh, it's got like a mesh hole at the back. I hope I've put this the right way round. <laughs> I think Nathan will tell me when he sees this video that I've put it the wrong way round if I have. Um, but it's got a Velcro strap there. You can see I've already got a uh, live Mackie in there. He's been in there for about 25 minutes now. Um, so yeah, it's quiet on the mackerel front out here, but yeah, it's a nice day for it. Really nice day. Not too far out at the moment, but just looking for some bait. So starting to find a few mackerel now. I've got uh, three in the uh, little torpedo at the moment. I think that's probably the most it can hold. They're not huge mackerel, but they're ideal bait size and they look like they're all still going so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pot around here for a little bit and then uh, make my way offshore and uh, we'll start trying to get some uh, bigger fish. Right guys, uh, really patchy with the mackerel um, coming out here. So I haven't got many, I've only got three. Um, lost a couple on the way out as well. So I switched over to Sabikis and uh, started catching them. They're quite small mackerel. So uh, they're ideal bait size um, and I've made my way offshore and got uh, anchored up in position now. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my uh, two usual rods that I use, which is the uh, 12 to 20 pound uh, boat class um, ugly stick rods. Um, so I'm going to be using them and uh, I've made this little rig here. Um, I'm going to try it out and just see if we can get uh, perhaps like a taupe or something, just anything showing an interest to a, a live bait down there. Um, I'll just show you this rig. It's just tangled up in these feathers at the moment. There we go. So it's basically, all I've done is uh, I've got a clip at the top, like that, a uh, clip swivel. And now I've got, I think it's a hundred pound uh, mono down to uh, a three-way swivel. And then on the three-way swivel, I've got a paper clip, which is where I'm gonna put my lead, um, just so I can get my rig back if the lead gets snapped. And uh, got a circle hook with 150 pound of mono um, little biting trace there with some uh, shrink tubing on it so uh, i'm going to try that in the hope that the camera is going to be sat at the top of the rig facing down at the freeway swivel hopefully um, and then you should see the mackerel uh, swimming around around the rig i'm hoping that's what happens i couldn't tell you if it's going to come out on uh, well or not but uh, i'm hoping it does so what i'm going to do is uh, put out a uh, a live mackerel to start off with um, on that rod uh, and I think I'm going to go with something like a uh, a pound of lead to get started oh. so let's get this rod ready tube down here hopefully you can see that the uh, stealth kayak live bait tube and I've got a live mackie they should still be kicking after paddling out here should be good. Is he good? Yeah, he's good. He's still good. Still kicking. 
So I'm gonna whack him on. And for that, all I'm gonna do is just go through the nose, like so. Nice live Mackie. So dropping down a live mackerel with the uh, Spydro camera and hopefully find ourselves a tote. Quite a lot of tide here still. Well, I say a tote, but I wouldn't mind finding anything. Anything that's gonna take this mackerel. I've noticed that usually dead baits work better out here, but so that's on the bottom now. All right, I'm just gonna put him in the rod holder, set the drag. hoping this footage comes all right, out all right on this camera. It's uh, one of my main goals this year was to uh, was to catch a tope on, on footage taking a live bait. So I'm going to leave it out for a bit. If it, if it goes dead, it's dead. But all I'll do then is just uh, take a uh, the backbone out of it and just drop it down as a flapper and uh, keep the camera rolling. But I'll give that five, ten minutes. If I don't have a bite, I'll be shocked. But yeah, you never know. Last time there was a plague of eels here. Plague of eels. I think we must have like three or four in the session. Two that featured in the video. One of them down a, a tope's mouth. <laughs> but today hopefully it's a little bit of tope action perhaps. Just trying to get this footage that I'm after and then you know, I can relax then. It's a bit of a challenge sometimes trying to figure out how the uh, how the footage is going to come out, you know, if you've not done it before, you've just got to try and suss out what the best uh, method for rigging up at 100 odd foot. I think well, we're in 110 foot at the moment with a live mackerel on the bottom. Um, I'm going to bring this up just to speed up the process, hopefully get a bit of a scent trail coming out and uh, I'm going to fill it up this uh, this mackerel, just take the backbone out and drop down a flapper um, and see if that will entice a bite and uh, hopefully get some footage of it. Um, but I've now filleted that mackerel. So hopefully uh, something will pick that up now. And we should be getting some uh, decent footage of it. I'm hoping it's not tangled up. It seemed alright when I brought it up and the uh, mackerel, it was actually uh, mackerel had died. But I think that's from reeling and back up. Brought him up quite quick, but 
all I've done is just taken uh, a slice out of him and along the along the uh, spine, along the backbone. Um, so he's pretty much a flapper now, and I've cut the uh, tail off as well, so he's not going to spin too much in the tide. Got a bite now. There we go, that's a bite. Oh, Saint picked it up and dropped it. Now it's on. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, we're on. This is a tope, I think. going We should have our footage. Literally five minutes of it being on the bottom. Whoa, he's going this one. Gonna take my time with this one. I don't think he's big, but he's definitely going well. Just gotta knacker him out a bit. I hope you guys can see this. I haven't got my cameraman Adrian with me today. I've got him off the bottom anyway, that's the main thing, so hopefully he doesn't uh, mess up this camera. I don't, the last thing I want is him to tail wrap and uh, take the camera with him. Doesn't feel big, but you never know. Compared to that one I lost in the last video, this is nothing. I can actually get this one up. And I struck him pretty early, so I'm hoping this barbless circle hook has uh, done the trick and found the corner of the mouth.
It's a bit annoying because I'm fishing over the, the left side. I'm usually used to reeling in on the right. So I might try and just bring him round on this right side now. Like that, if I can. There we go. Let's get this thing up. Doesn't feel like a big one. so hard with just me and I'm using my longer boom. Hopefully that's all right. We'll have to see. Get this footage out. <laughs> Come on you sucker. kayak round then. Oh, he's a heavy bugger. He's not a bad size. Come here. Oh, it's going to be awkward. You have to bear with me. Come on. Come on. Just need to get the line. Tangling a paper clip with the tope hanging off the side of the axle. Not, not ideal. Right. I'm going to try and get him up to hook him, I think. Alright, mate. See if I can unhook him. It 
freezing up with all this weed. It's all right, mate. Gonna check you back in a minute. Probably 25. Going back, there we go. Hooks out. See if I can get him up for a quick picture. If he'll let me. He's all right, this one actually. Touch wood so far. Get a quick photo and then I'll chuck him back. There we go, it's a nice one. Probably about 25, it's not quite 30. Nice one though. Woohee! Got one on the camera finally. Male or female? Female. Female, I think. Right, I'll see you later. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Oh. But this one's been out a little while longer now. I'm probably going to reel it up in two minutes and, uh, and just see what the crack is because it might even be tangled up. So I'm gonna reel it up now. Um, it's only got the tail taken out of it. So unless there's a sink on it now. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a dogfish has got hold of it or a crab. Sometimes you get a few spiders down there. Feels like there's a crab or something on this. I'm gonna say a spider. Or a load of weed. Doesn't feel like a fish. It might be nothing, it might just be the camera.
if it's an actual fish. It feels like a dead weight. Oh, oh, two spiders, I think. Or was that one? No, that's one spider and it's a decent one as well. Don't let go, mate. Don't let go, that's a good spider, that. Oh, he's let go. <laughs> what I'm going to do is, uh, on uh, my spare rod that I've got here, I'm going to be uh, putting down the uh, go fish cam on a bream rig. I'm pretty sure I pushed record. <laughs> Be gutted if none of the cameras picked anything up. There's got to be something down there. Please don't be a dogfish. Oh no. Dogfish. It's no good. Little dog. Where's the bream? I think that's a bream. I think the dogs are right on the bottom. So just having the rig just a foot off the bottom or so. Start to get the bream and I think this is a bream. Pretty sure it is. Bouncing away a bit. Yeah, this is a bream. Surely. Here it comes. Yeah, nice, nice bream. Perfect bait size. So then guys, just before I decide to uh, go back in shore for a bit, uh, I've lobbed out uh, half a bream. I've got the head section on at the moment. Seems like it's really quiet out here today. I don't know what it is uh, in comparison to when I came out with Adrian. It's uh, a lot different. In fact, it's pretty much the opposite. I thought at first it was going to be pretty good after putting that uh, that mackerel bait down straight away, but no, it just got just got quieter and quieter. Thanks. Picked up this uh, this bream head. I'm pretty sure science picked it up. Hoping it hasn't dropped it. He might have dropped it. Well, no, it's still there. I think might be swimming up to me. Yeah, something's on. Dead weight. Oh no, it could be an eel. Dead weight. It's not fighting like a tope yet. Well, now it's shaking a bit. What is this? Oh my god, I'd love it if it was a hoss. Feels quite heavy though. I think it might be a. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think what it is. It's not swimming up tide. 
So usually it's taken a bit of line. I don't know, this could be a hut. Not sure with this one to be honest. Eel, I reckon. Eel or hoss. Please be a hoss. Please be a hoss. Oh no, leader knot. Stuck in the tip of the eye again. Always oh, seems to knock off fish. I found where my leader knot gets stuck like that. Hope it's not a dogfish. I'm gonna look a right idiot. Oh, it's a nice hoss. It's a hoss. Oh, it's a hoss. Oh, I'm well chuffed with that. If I can get him in, he's nicely hooked. Come on, mate. Wasn't sure with that one. Oh, come on, Sam, pull it together. Get it in. Just in this tide now, it's starting to starting to race a bit. It's a little bit difficult on the app. This is another good hoss. About ten pound, I'd say. Maybe similar to the other one. Oh, he's a good one. Another good one. Oh yes. Check that out. Not as big as the last one. He's a good one though. Look at that. Come on, mate. There we go, hooks out in my hand. <laughs> Come on, we just want to have a look at you then we chuck you back. Hopefully you can see us on the camera. Oh, oh. Check that out. In fact, he's he's not definitely not as big as the last one. Oh, all right, mate. You're gonna go back. It's probably about eight nine pound this one. <laughs> Really strong fish. Hey, hey. That's the photo done. Let's get him back in. I think he's ready to go back. Come on, mate, off you go. Yes, get in there. Well, that's me uh, gonna head back in now. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Until the next video, until the uh, next offshore trip, tight lines and catch you next time.